It's the AJ Red Show starring me, AJ Red. Look, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Y'all ready to get into this next topic? Let's go. What's going on? Welcome back. It's your boy AJ Red, and welcome back to another AJ, another episode of the AJ Red Show. Excuse me. Shit, look, I done took medicine and shit and went down to the dentist. I'm a little fucked up. So, listen, I'm back again, like I said, with another video to discuss the Nick Cannon situation. Y'all keep texting me about and all this different stuff here and all these children that you got. But um, before we get into that, real quick, if this is your first video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's that little bell. That's a little dingling ding. That makes that, that ensures that when I upload these videos, you're one of the first ones to receive them comment on them and of course hit the like button and please hit the like button on this video and please share these videos with friends family loved ones and well not kids I'm telling you right now not kids because i do cuss over here if you're sanctified go on scroll up left right whatever this is not the channel for you we cuss over here sorry so anyway um i'm just getting in you know i've been like i said i've been getting news about this i've been hearing about it since day one but trying to, of course, balance time and everything. And shit, I fucked around and left work early to go to the dentist and went down to the dentist. And now they want to charge, of course, a gazillion mammy motherfucking dollars, you know, to do some work up in your mouth and shit like that there. And that's even with insurance, because of course I got a nine to five, like I tell y'all all the time. And that's what insurance included, so shit. You know, I'm looking at a nice little bill. But anyway, that's gonna get taken care of, you know, at some point, I'm sure. Trust me on that. But um, with that being said, anyway, I'm back um, to discuss this situation. Now, Nick Cannon, of course, you know, he uh, was formerly married to Mariah Carey, the Mariah Carey. Um, and now they're, of course, divorced. And since then, he not only had a set of twins with Mariah, but he's gone on to have 10 more children. Uh, it has been reported now that a few days ago, he came out and made a statement basically saying that he, you know, regrets kind of sort of not saying having the children, but so many, I guess, spaced apart in different uh, moms and shit like that, that he ain't got enough time to spend with them. Um, so, but two, you know, he also basically says he feels like he's been spread thin. I mean, basically, I, 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 I get it. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but I get it. Uh, and of course, I'm battling some kind of bullshit. The temperature done dropped like a motherfucker over here in, in our Houston. We are about to deal with some shit waking up at one degree in the morning. I ain't never dealt with no shit like that before in my life. And so with that drastic weather change from like 70 something down to now, probably currently fucking 22 degrees, you know, this is what the fuck you get. This is the result of it. So uh, we all over here in Houston fucked up and they got the, the grid, uh, secure enough to keep the lights on this go around and keep uh, you know us with some fucking heat because y'all know about that freeze in uh, 2021 in February when they lay around there turn bitches into popsicles you know and some other tragic shit happened but anyway um, I'm dealing with some shit over here up in this here region you feel me but I'm gonna press through but anyway of course back to what I was saying uh, Nick Cannon you know um, basically it's like Get it, just getting to the point. Okay, well, duh. I mean, what the fuck you mean? You got 12 kids, you know what I'm saying? I think it would have been like 13 or something like that had he not lost one to brain cancer in like uh, a couple of years ago, I think in December of 2020, something like that, a little boy. But he had all these children. And my thing is, at the end of the day, we all know Nick Hannah has some illnesses of his own. You know, he has lupus. He was recently in the hospital earlier this month you know, on like the third or some shit like that with pneumonia or some shit like that in the lung. So my whole thing is, is like, maybe, maybe you hurt you too much. You know, maybe you just need to give yourself, your body some time to heal. Because in the end, what the real aspect of it is, if you start giving off all the electrolytes and all that sperm and all that energy sweating and working up a thrust and whatnot and so forth, making these babies, you, you, maybe if you kept all that inside of you for a minute and just stopped, or maybe back then, maybe you could have gotten a little bit better. Maybe you would have felt better because you're doing too much fucking anyway. You're fucking over here, over there. You're slanging dick like newspaper. And now you're sitting about, around thinking about it at what, the age of 41? Now saying you have 12 children 
and now you feel uh, a spread thin, it's no wonder you're working all the motherfucking jobs. I've been sitting there hearing about, you know, in, in, in passing of rumors over the years. Of course, he has a lot of children. Every time you look around, you got another baby. Then you turn around, you got another baby coming. Then it's another another child coming. Oh, expect another. It's like, God damn. It's like, okay, we get it. You know how to fuck. You know how to make babies. And your, your genes are strong and your sperm is strong. And babe, you must have good pull. Well, you ain't got good pull out game, but you can pull them. You feel me? And you can get them to drop them draws. But at the end of the day, the point has been proven. Yes, I agree. You are spread thin. You be, you've been spread thin a long time ago. Shit. You know? You, it's, it's no wonder you're not talking about your knees fucked up. You probably done blown them motherfuckers out with all that hurt you. Stop, yes, stop making kids. And if you really have a situation or an addiction to where you feel like you just want to fuck, 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 fuck all the time, maybe you need to get your balls snipped. Go get yourself a vasectomy and let them fix your nuts. Because this is, you know, I'm... I, I'm saying this now because in the beginning I was kind of defending it because I'm like, okay, he's an African American male, he's very successful, he has plenty of money, but although he has, of course, like anybody else, other things going on. But after having this conversation with several other people, you know, voicing one another's opinion about it, going back and forth over the phone, Jessica, Trika, of course, you know, I, I, I realized, like, yeah, you know, my argument was basically, I get it, he's procreating. He's building generational wealth as well to um, sustain whether he's here or not with his children. And some part of me still want to argue with that because I'm thinking to myself, okay, okay, starting with this, the argument my homegirls were giving was basically like, shit, you know, yeah, he has illnesses and shit going on, which doesn't rule him out for having multiple children. No, they were basically saying like, you're, you you have all these children that are basically so very young and you have all these illnesses that you're not promised today or tomorrow, which nobody really is, of course, if you really think about it. But in the end, it's like sometimes you with, with some with some illnesses, you risk a bigger chance of fast forwarding to the other side, you know, a little bit quicker than others. You know, I'm just saying, just, just saying, listen, hear me out. <laughs> yeah, bitch out. Okay. So with that being said, they were saying basically he we wouldn't get the chance to raise these children, be in their lives, you know, for the long haul and be there for them consistently. And I, my argument was basically, well, shit, maybe he knows that or is kind of thinking that in the edges of his mind. And he's thinking, well, you know, even building my legacy can include, you know, financial backing. And then one of them was saying, you know, well, shit, he only, he only worth 50 million. I was saying, well, shit, 50 million is pretty good. You know, if he, you know, kill over the day or tomorrow and he got to leave the kids something out of what he had, that's probably a little over four million a piece. But then they made the argument, well, bitch, what about the stuff he owed and all that shit he got to pay something? Good argument. Maybe so. So I feel like maybe it was still a, a good little chunk of change. Then I saw a report that was saying November 25th of 2022 that he's worth $20 million. And I'm saying, well, shit, everybody gonna get what, uh, maybe roughly around about two, three million, something along those lines. If that, you know, it ain't, it ain't looking good on the home front. And, and yeah, really less than that, honestly. And then after, you know, Ask a Dinners and all that shit, when I say Ask a Dinners, that's when them people kind of, with them notices come out asking for money out your motherfucking pocket. I'm so sick of the Ask a Dinners. Every day the Ask a Dinners, some of them like to relate to it as bills. You, you feel me? The Ask a Dinners, get the fucking gun. But anyway, yeah, so basically thinking about that, I'm saying, well, damn, yeah, it's kind of leaving them in. It gives them a good starter. A lot of us didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? But then you have to think about also maybe insurance policies. The bottom line is, who knows what he was thinking when he was making all these kids? Or whether he was just being a fucking nymphomaniac, whether he was just, you know, trying to really become a plumber, and we really didn't know it, you know what I'm saying, with a different aspect. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You smell what I'm stepping in? Exactly. Yes. So with that being said, we don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but now apparently whatever he was thinking is now changed because now he's having a whole big epiphany and a realization that even having all of these children, which have been, would have been okay had maybe say he and Mariah stayed together and they had 12 kids. Because hell, Kiki White got what, 10, 11, 12, 15, 22, something like that. 
but they're all in one household, all under one roof with her, under her guidance. Of course, well, she's the host, yes, but, you know, and she has a tendency to, to, to get them and quit them depending on how they treat them. I get it. But with you, bro, you going around and just populating and planting your seed all over the earth, you know, in, in different regions and in the same nether region, of course, of the anatomy, but in different regions of the states, uh, uh, the world, shit like that. I mean, you just going down there and really fucking the thing. And you, you need to stop. If, 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 he, if he actually looked at it now, even if his finances really did sustain, I think what's worth more at this point is memories and what is to be um, better gained from all of this fame or having plethora of children. And at this point now, it's, it's a bond. You know, when you have children, you want to bond with them. You know what I'm saying? And and at the end of the day, what he's what he's realizing now is he doesn't have the time capable to now bond with all of these children. And it's just now hitting him at 41. But they say men mature, you know, a little bit later than women in life, which is usually around their early 40s, somewhere around there. So I guess 41, I guess the shit doesn't hit him, you know, like I did 10 in the motherfucking limo. You feel me? And now he's having an epiphany, that realization. And now he sees that even if I'm out here trying to make this money, now I'm out here trying to hustle. And like T.D. Jake say, as a man, when you're trying to provide, you know, for a household, you're either, you know, really lacking in one or two things because you're never really going to get that 50-50 part of quality time, enough quality time at home, should I say, and making sure the home front is secure with the bag. You know what I'm saying? So now you have not just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got 12, you know what I'm saying? And would have again had 13. So now you're having to spend your time and kind of sacrifice your health versus your 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 longevity with your, your health. You see what I'm saying? And the time spent with these children or even building enough bond with the mothers, which I think he really has good enough bond with all of the kids' moms where he visits, spend time with it, as he as he can basically but it's like bro you should have thought about this shit a long time ago so now it's basically you putting your health in in jeopardy to make make sure that your children are financially stable going forward even if something does happen to you and i'm thinking you know again i'm glad you're having this wake-up call but i mean fuck it's a little too late you had number 12 bro <laughs> nigga it's 12 and i ain't talking about o'clock on the dot in no drop top i'm saying 12 head of children that's a lot of kids which is back in the day was normal like way back in the fucking you know in my grandmother in them days and great grandma people like that but you know and again there's nothing wrong with it but when you have issues like autoimmune diseases and stuff like that that you're dealing with that can possibly have you check the fuck up out of here tomorrow you don't want to have them eating caviar and shit like that and having a conversation today and then when you close your eyes a week from now, they're over there eating french fries at the McDonald's, not willingly, but unwillingly because the budget ain't kicking out as much. And with these baby mamas, who knows what the fuck they're doing? I mean, he's working several jobs, him, his, himself, the mass singer, hosting that, um, wilding out, you know what I'm saying, being, I think, the creator and all this shit here and producer, whatever he does over there, wilding out, and several other things that he's currently doing, you know, to make money. So with that being said, it's like, yeah, it's time to sit your motherfucking ass down somewhere. You had, you got to go and retire now. Hang, hang that old dangling up. Put that motherfucker in your pocket. Put your, put listen, put your dick in your watch pocket, as my grandmother and her friend would say back in the days. Because like I said, that shit is no fun when you, when it comes to children having, you know, several moms or whatever being segregated and separated. I can honestly tell you, one of my truths is, fuck it, I don't give a fuck who like it or not. I have several siblings, but my dad was doing, you know, his thing, you know, all those Eastern Seaboard and shit. We got, you know, plethora of, of siblings. It's like 14, 13, 15, something like that. Plenty of us, you know. So, and, and to get them all together in one accord and realize what actually happened and not having discord or, or, or past feelings behind shit that we had nothing to do with and trying to move forward in life and understand whatever went on was in your your mind and your past with our moms or whatever 
but still trying to build a relationship with each other and, and moving forward, but having to be so distant in so many ways. The shit ain't cool. And the shit is fucked up. Again, I say, if you was gonna go ahead and do this shit, you should have stayed with me, Raya, uh, Carrie, and you should have found one good Southern old Baptist gal, you know, maybe Kojic or, <laughs> or Kojic or something like that. You know, if you went on ahead and got saved, or you you hang around Karen Clark Shed and them, if you went on and got saved right, and you know, beat uh, Mr. Kelly to the punch, maybe um, Kiera could have been a cannon instead of a Kelly. You know, maybe. I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe Kiera Sheard Kelly would now be Kiera Sheard Cannon had he stepped up to the plate. Because I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's really good. I think he has a really good heart and really good intentions. But when he was doing all that fucking, I don't know what he was intending. You know, it was a, you know, it's a lot of semen, you know, on deck. No point in it, you know. But anyway, so there you go. That's my uh, outlook on this shit. It's really crazy, but I think you need to go get your knees checked next, um, Nick, and see how them motherfuckers functioning. Or your, and your ankles, because ain't no telling how you over there raw dog and they're doing it, because apparently you're raw dog because you keep leaving evidence everywhere. <laughs> Fuck. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Go ahead now, hit that um, subscribe button if you have not already. Share this video with somebody. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That's it. That's the like button. That helps me out a lot. Um, I thank y'all for joining the channel. I thank y'all for spending y'all time with me and keeping it cool and keeping it 100. I'm always make it um, funny over here some kind of fucking way, but I ain't trying to humiliate no fucking body. Anyway, share with somebody you know. Share with somebody you don't know. Share with somebody you like. Share with somebody you don't give no fucks about. Because again, I might be the glue that brings y'all together. Okay? Anyway, keep your high vibrations up. Take care of yourself. Love yourself this holiday season. Happy, happy holidays. Yes. Um, and love on those who want to love on you the same way in return that you're giving them. Because again, we're not fucking around with no bullshit. Okay? Alright. Holla. Love y'all.